Mufti Mank dating app situation. So Mufti Mank just released a new app called Simply Nikah. However, many people online are saying that this is a dating app. However, Mufti Mank himself said the app is not for dating and it's strictly for marriage. Focus solely on marriage. No dating. People also are mad about the AI Wally feature. The artificially intelligent Wally, your messaging companion. An AI that learns your likes and dislikes so that your matches get smarter. Greetings everyone. Welcome back to our channel, Islamgram Official. Today, we're diving into a controversial topic that's been making waves in the Muslim community, Mufti Menk's halal dating app, Simply Nikah. Before we jump into the reactions, let's get some background on Simply Nikah. Developed by Mufti Menk, a prominent Islamic scholar, this app aims to provide a platform for Muslims to find potential spouses in a halal and Islamically guided manner. The app offers features such as detailed profiles, compatibility quizzes, and a secure chat system. Mufti Menk has emphasized the importance of fostering relationships within the bounds of Islamic teachings, ensuring that users adhere to halal practices. However, despite the noble intentions, Simply Nikah has faced criticism from some segments of the Muslim community. Critics argue that the concept of a dating app, even if labeled as halal, contradicts traditional Islamic principles regarding courtship. Are dating apps halal or haram? Dating is haram. Dating apps. Do they class themselves as a dating app or a Muslim matrimonial app? It's the same concept. We can use different words for it. If you're speaking to the opposite gender and you're on WhatsApp messaging each other or you're on a website and it's private, that's not allowed. However, if there is a wali that's able to see the conversation or the website is offering scholars that are observing conversations, then that's permissible. To better understand the negative reactions, let's delve into the Islamic perspective on relationships. Islam encourages modesty, purity, and the avoidance of unnecessary interactions between unrelated individuals. Some argue that a dating app, regardless of its intentions, may inadvertently lead to compromising these principles. While there isn't a specific verse in the Quran that explicitly mentions dating apps, Islam encourages modesty and discourages behavior that may lead to inappropriate relationships. Several verses highlight the importance of maintaining modesty, avoiding temptation, and practicing righteousness. 1. Surah An-Nur 2430 31 Tell the believing men to reduce of their vision and guard their private parts. That is purer for them. Indeed, Allah is acquainted with what they do. And tell the believing women to reduce of their vision and guard their private parts and not expose their adornment except that which appears thereof. Al-Baqarah 2, 286 Allah does not burden a soul beyond that it can bear. As per the perspective of various community leaders, some acknowledge the need for modern solutions in finding a spouse. Others express concerns about the potential pitfalls of using a dating app in the pursuit of marriage. In conclusion, the launch of Simply Nikah has sparked a heated debate within the Muslim community. While Mufti Menk's intention is to provide a halal alternative for singles, the question remains, can a dating app truly align with Islamic values, or does it risk diluting the sanctity of the marriage process? Share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe for more thought-provoking discussions. Thank you for watching. May Allah bless us and safeguard us from the fitna of this world.